man is on a mission to help find a family for his dog before it's too late. Yeah, you know the saying, a man's best friend is true in every sense of the phrase. NBC 10 Sam Reed shows us something good and heart-wrenching. While some residents live with their roommates at this Plainville apartment complex, David Fine says he's fortunate to live with his best friend Babs, okay, here we go. a Sharpay boxer mix that he rescued nearly 10 years ago. But then again, who really rescued who? I had told myself I was never going to get another pet because it breaks my heart to lose them, and, and you do. Uh, unfortunately, she's going to outlive me this time. At the age of 63, David knows he's dying. Four years ago, after retiring, he set off to fulfill his lifelong dream to visit national parks with his favorite girl by his side. Beautiful. I had a Cheshire grin smile on my face. He made it to South Dakota. But when in Wyoming, a mere 100 miles from Yellowstone, a place he still really wants to visit, things got gray. I got sick. started feeling bad. First came leukemia and treatment, then vascular disease. In August, David learned the devastating news. He also has stage 4 lung cancer. The treatments would be brutal. It wouldn't gain me much time. And I chose quality over quantity. To make the most of things, every waking moment is spent making memories with his dog. The type of cancer this is, it's going to want to spread. Then we call it quits. We check into the hospice and, you know, give up the dog. And that's going to be, that's going to probably kill me. Six months is what the doctors told him. That was five months ago, which is why finding a forever home for his precious pooch is at the top of his list before leaving. We're attached at the hip. When I don't come home... She's going to know it. To help ease her pain, David has had help spreading the word that his dying wish is to find her a home, preferably without small children where she's the only pet, with a new owner who will love her as much as he does. I'd like to find somebody like, like me. And before things start to go downhill for him, ideally he would love to get her acclimated and be a part of her transition before he does. It's like trying to find a home for your child. Only time will tell what's next. That four-letter word that we all wish we had more of, that David is running out of. She is the most important thing at this point. My fate is sealed, but hers is not. And, and so I got to make sure that, you know, she gets as many good years out of, out of the rest of her life as I can. How fortunate is this four-legged friend to have someone who loves her to death? David says he'll be forever grateful to the person who takes his place. And then, then I can rest in peace if I, when the time comes. But I'm not ready to go yet. You're a good girl. I love my babsy. Showing you something good. I'm Sam Reed. Oh, my gosh. Mm. I know there's someone out there who just watched that who could give Babs a good home. If you think you can help David and Babs, you can reach out to them at the email address on your screen. D-A-F-I-N-E-1960 at gmail.com. We'll probably have that posted on our website shortly as well. Yeah, I think he, uh, they better get ready for a lot of emails. Yeah. You know, it's, it's interesting that when you, you know, you come to the time, he just seems at peace in some way. He really himself. does. He's more worried about the dog than he is about himself, which speaks to his character. So, yeah. Dave, we love you, and uh, we hope that the dog finds a new home. Yeah, we're pulling from both of you. All right, coming up.